back with my MacBook Air, which is an M1 chip and 8 GB of memory. We're going to do a quick run of the Android Studio on this machine and just uh, see how well it works. Now, Android Studio has just released a preview version of the native uh, M1 Mac build. It's on the Canary channel, literally released about, I think, four or five days ago. So we're just going to quickly run this and see how it works out. So just uh, starting up, as you can see, it's coming up right now. It's Arctic Fox 2023, very fast loading time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a blank new project and use a standard template and uh, see how that goes, right? So new project, um, we'll just use a basic activity. Next, application name is fine, just using all the defaults. And it is coming up right now. There you go. It's doing uh, the housekeeping, the files are getting created. Uh, critical build is happening right now. So this is actually much faster than the previous version I had, which was not native, which I was using till about a week ago. Here we go, it's done. So it's pretty snappy. And now we'll just run it. Go ahead and run it. Uh, the simulator that we have to choose has to be for the M1. It does support the M1 simulator now. There was a problem previously. It was not that easy, but now it's built in. And once I've chosen that, I will run it. The simulator will come up. There we are. Uh, I did use the simulator before, the save, so the state is saved, but as you can see, it still comes up very, very fast. And once it's up, there's the application. So pretty snappy, actually. I mean, I'm suitably impressed. This is still a beta. It's in the preview channel, so I expect it to get even better. Um, you can read more about the beta, of course, on the Android Studio site. But this was just a quick demo to give you a sense of uh, how it works out. Thanks.